Okay, here's what we're going to do today. We're going to clean out the carb. Just general maintenance in case there's any varnish or uh, gum up in the carburetor. Pretty simple. You're going to disconnect the fuel line that goes into the fuel filter and fuel pump from the vehicle. Once that's done, I'm going to uh, add an extra fuel line, about a foot, two feet long, into a separate gas container that's going to contain about a gallon of gas and a third of a can of seafoam. I'm going to let that run and run it under load for about, uh, meh, maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then I'm going to stop it, let it hot soak for 15 minutes, then run it five minutes more. And this uh, should keep your carburetor nice and clean. Okay, so we're underneath. This is the fuel line coming into the generator from the engine. I've clamped it off with uh, a pair of vice grips and two pieces of wood. Now I'm going to take a screwdriver and I'm going to loosen this clamp up to pull the fuel hose off the generator. The hose off, got the clamp up here, and then you just pull it off. That's the fuel filter right there coming into the generator. Now what I have is a quarter inch hose, about a foot and a half long. I'm just going to push that on there. And then I got a little clamp here. I'll slide that clamp forward. Here's the clamp that came off the uh, fuel hose. Before I do anything, I'm going to give it a shot of Corrosion X. This will prevent any further corrosion because it, uh, it definitely wants to rust up. You think they'd use stainless steel? No, they do not. So I'll work that out so next time I want to take it off it'll be a little bit easier. I'll let that sit. Okay, I have uh, seafoam here and I have one gallon of gas. What I'm going to do is mix about uh, four to five ounces of seafoam into the gas. I'll just eyeball it. One, two, three, four. Mm, about a third of a can. I'm going to mix that up. And then we're going to uh, use it to clean out the generator. Okay. I now have the, if you can see it, the extra fuel line over here. I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it in the gallon of gas with the seafoam. Okay. And then we'll start the generator up. And uh, that should clean the carburetor out if it's got anything in it. This is good if it's surging or to prevent surging. It's a common problem on these carburetors. They get gummed up very quickly. Okay, so now I have my fuel line connected to the one gallon can with seafoam mixture. I'm going to prime the generator. might take a little longer because the fuel line's empty. And then I'm going to start it up. Okay, now the generator's running. You may see a little white smoke out of the muffler, probably not, but you may. That's the uh, oils in the seafoam, nothing to worry about, a little white smoke. And I'm going to let that run for about 15 minutes, and then I'm going to shut it down and let it hot soak. Okay. That's been running for about a half hour. I warmed it up for five minutes. I put it under half a load for about 25 minutes. And then I turned the load off, let it cool down and run for with no load for another five minutes. Now as per for seafoam, I'm gonna turn that off. And I'm gonna let this hot soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna leave the uh, gas can attached and everything. We'll come back in about 15 minutes. Okay, 
This has been hot soaking for about 15 minutes. We're gonna restart it. And we're gonna run it for about 10 more minutes. Same mixture. The uh, gas line is still in the gas can of sea foam and gas mixture. Okay. I let that run an initial uh, an additional 10 to 15 minutes and turned it off. Now I'm going to go back underneath. I'm going to remove the temporary fuel line and gas can and reattach the coach uh, gas line. You can see here I've reattached the coach gas line, the clamp, and I'm going to remove the vice grips. I put two pieces of wood there just so I don't pinch it too bad. Work that out with my finger, make it round again. Okay, you can see that. Put my loom back over that. Okay. Try to get that down a little bit. And that's it. Coach fuel line is reattached to the generator. Go back up top. Okay, so uh, this procedure is to maintain cleaning the carburetor. I got it from Seafoam, from the manufacturer. The They recommend uh, that you, if you get surging, which is a common problem with these carburetors, if you don't exercise them, uh, they recommend you can use up to a two-to-one mixture, meaning two parts gasoline to one part seafoam, and do the same procedure, and you can actually do it several times until that surging stops, if it's going to stop. If it doesn't stop after that type of treatment, you'll end up having to replace the carburetor. They're not rebuildable. All right, so it was uh, 15 minutes with the seafoam mixture. You run it. I did a half hour, and you hot soak it. Just turn it off, let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, and then you run it for about 10, 15 minutes more after the hot soak. Shut it off, disconnect your temporary gas tank, and uh, reattach your fuel line. You're all set to go. Hopefully that'll keep the carburetor clean and run it smooth. The jury's out. I don't know. Uh, I will say that after about 10 minutes, when I first connected the seafoam mixture, I did notice that the generated appeared to quiet down a bit just a little bit smoother a little bit quieter uh, what I used like I said you need a gas can I used a gallon of gas and about a third of a bottle of seafoam which is about five to six ounces of seafoam to the one gallon of gas about a one to two foot quarter inch fuel line pair of vice grips and a screwdriver that's all the tools you'll need as for the sea foam uh, I use stable 360 marine I use that in my fuel tank for the coach year-round I use one part uh, one ounce stable to 10 gallons of gas during the in season when I'm using the coach and when I'm storing it for the winter I use uh, one ounce to five gallons of gas for storage. Also, I use Corrosion X. That stuff is fantastic. Uh, spraying anything that can rust, electrical connections, bolts, anything you want to prevent rust on, that will do it. It actually eats through the rust and will protect it. I will leave links to all three of those items for Amazon down below. Uh, you can do your own research on that. As for the seafoam, I'm going to leave a link to the seafoam video I watched in reference to how to do this generator thing. This is put out by the manufacturer. And that's about it. Hope you find it useful. Any questions, hit me up in the chat.